can't thank us with one hand and slap away our voting rights for the other. And not only that, not just people of color, white folks should be pissed off about this too. Mitch Chocolate Chip away at our civil rights. We also have the Rocky Road to the voting booth. Through the lightheartedness and the attraction of just a simple universal dessert of ice cream, it just sparks those conversations that normally people may shy away from and don't necessarily want to have. Minorities are the majority in the United States at this point, you know. So we all have different needs, different wants, and I think that those need to be focused on because we are the driving force of, of the community, I believe. I do think that we don't realize how important it is for us to to have our voice heard, right, Renee? You know, so I think, yeah, basically having a seat at the table and actually being heard. Um, and not just heard and something being done once we've expressed, you know, what our needs are. And a lot of them isn't, it isn't needs, like we're asking for a handout, we're just asking for a fair, fair share. So the environment in 1965 for anybody who's a person of color was incredibly tense. Particularly in Southern states, we had these legislators that were requiring things like poll taxes, requiring things like grandfather clauses. If your grandfather voted, then you'd be able to vote. Counting bubbles on a bar of soap and all of these weird and arbitrary laws designed to keep people of color from voting. So in 1965, in March, on Bloody Sunday, folks from across the nation went from Selma, Alabama to Washington DC to show up for voting rights. And what that Voting Rights Act, rights Act of 1965 did was it provided specific parameters for states to follow so that discrimination could not happen to people of color while they were trying to vote. As I said, the Voting Rights Act of 1965 was not the all end be all. We still have a structure in place that could weaken federal legislation, answer in the Shelby v. Holder decision from the Supreme Court of the United States in 2013. The Shelby v. Holder decision said, racism doesn't exist, states should be able to do whatever they want, and so the pre-clearance requirement under Section 5 was lifted for over the southern states. seeing this in particular in Georgia and West Virginia and states like Arizona where people of color who typically would work a, a, a nine to five job in a community now do not have access to absentee voting as they normally would. Their hours are now short. Not only that, if you are accustomed to having more voting sites in your area, if you're predominantly a community of color, they can now reduce the amount of locations that you have to vote, lengthening the time that you have to wait in line and ultimately discouraging you from voting. So they're finding more inventive ways to make it more difficult for people to vote. And if we don't stand up to do something about it now, they are going to continue to strip our voting rights away. We're not trying to get played out here. So number one, it's important that we are honestly informed about our history, about where we have come from, and about where we are now, and about where we need to go. Because there is a clear and coordinated campaign of disinformation designed to keep people away from voting. And then number two, we need to increase momentum to make sure that the new rising electorate has access to the ballot. And, and not only that, not just people of color, white folks should be pissed off about this too, because we are in this nation together. And we are here because we believe in our basic constitutional democratic principles that starts with we the people. 
And it is not we with a parenthesis that says certain people, those who have always had political power, those who are only male or those who are only white, that is not the standard. We the people means all of us. back better until you build a better democracy. What we need to have is a president that's going to stand up for his campaign platform. He has thanked black voters for voting him into office. So you can't thank us with one hand and slap away our voting rights for the other. Mm -hmm.